there was a time when banks were low on cash and gold and silver coins disappeared from circulation. What did people do when that happened? Well, certain individuals who were die sinkers went to making these. And these were made from 1832 to 1844, and they're called hard times tokens. Now, these tokens are the memes of the day. Back then, obviously, they didn't have social media in the 1800s. So they posted their memes on coins. These were political tokens, satire tokens, merchant tokens for services and goods. They're the size of a copper one cent, and they were issued by the hundreds. And there's, They're very numerous. Some of them are very common. Most of them are very common, I should say. But that, like I said, those were the memes of the time. People always put what they felt on whatever medium they had available to them. Now, during the time you had Andrew Jackson and Van Buren as the presidents, and there was a lot of controversy with the banks, uh, talking about pet banks, um, abolition of slavery. All of these issues were talked about. At the time, the U.S. was expanding and building railroads, and all of the land that's being purchased was usually on credit, something like that. And Jackson, the, the money piled up in the treasuries. So Jackson came up with the specie circular and then cash started becoming more scarce. He gave money to the state banks. And then the next thing you know, people can't hardly get cash. So then gold and silver disappear from circulation, the gold and silver coins. And all of this is historically preserved in some of these tokens, as you can see. And this is one of the most expensive ones. It's, am I not a man and a brother? That was obviously to uh, against slavery. And it sold for $70,500. It's extra fine 40 created by NGC. That's probably one of the most expensive tokens out there. Then you had uh, tokens like this one. And you can see on the Credit Parish Commerce 1834 down with the bank, my victory. And then you got a little, this will be a cameo of Jackson. Jackson was a hard-nosed president. Then you have this one, the Constitution, plain system, void of pomp. And here's the reverse of that one, Roman firmness. These show the mindset back then, how people thought what was going on in their heads and, and very interesting history, fun coins to collect. Like I said, I've got mine here uh, that I showed you. Um, it's graded Mint State 62 by NGC, the illustrious predecessor. Here's another one. One more we'll show here. Uh, this one was uh, graded by NX. It said it's damaged. I can see the damage here. But obviously, Jackson with the sword and uh, I take the responsibility. You know, if you read through history, just look up newspaper articles about what, what they said about George Washington, what they said about um, Lincoln, what they said about every president that we've had. There's always been controversy. No one's ever liked the job for the most part, or, or at least in some way, shape or form. There are certain people that never liked the jobs of the president. There's always been that controversy. So it's nothing new that we have today. It's worse today because everybody has a soapbox. Everybody has a phone in their hand. Everybody has a, a voice online and memes and lots of people mis, put misinformation out there. A lot of people like to play jokes and they like to do what they do. But this is uh, the form of meme that they had back then. To, and like I said, during like during the Civil War, there, there was a merchant tokens. Same thing there, you know, the Union and, and different ones that came out. And like I said, no gold and silver coins in circulation at one time or at least very minimal amount and not able to find cash in an economy that was doing really good. That's, that's kind of odd to think kind of goes against the grain of what you would think would have happened. But as you can see, there's a lot of tokens over here on heritage. There's books on this, but the heritage sold auctions. I'm sure stacks has plenty of them. You can scroll down through and check out some of these designs, what they said, what they stood for and learn a little bit of history. Maybe a good way to teach a history lesson in class. <laughs> If you're a school teacher or to your grandkids, 
So thanks for watching my latest video. I hope you enjoyed this. Like, share, and comment. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And have a great day.